Good morning, everybody. My name's Gavin. And I'm Joel. And this is a stable life. It's so nice to have all of you guys back with us. We're getting things started right off the bat with letting in the horses. And I can tell right off the bat that William's got a loose strap. Good morning, Jack. Good morning, Champ. Good morning, Rebel. Good morning, George. And good morning, Casino. Nice to see all of you guys here. And they're calling for some rain moving in, but that's not till tomorrow. So we will have to see how things go with the rain. The temperature is supposed to go up with the rain and then immediately back down afterwards. Gotta love this time of year, don't you, Casino? Now that all the horses are in, it's time to put the grain in the stall for Tucker. We already have all the muck buckets out of the stalls because guys, do you know what day it is? It's manure day. Yay. Now that's not the excitement that we need here. You're right. It's manure day. Hey Gavin, why don't you go ahead and take them out there and show them the new addition to Tucker's stall. All right, Joel, I'll do that. Here's the new addition. We got our rope and then actually surprisingly keeps him in the stall. That way whenever his feet or anything have to get worked on, he can stay in here and not try to run away. Again, there's nothing in there. We're out doing our daily drive, checking on the feeders, and this one's completely empty in the middle field again. I'm thinking moving forward. Now today we're only gonna put one out here because of that rain that's coming tomorrow and there's no roof for this pasture. But as we're getting into the winter months, I think we're gonna have to get one of our other feeders moved in so we have two round bales in this field because it's not lasting them long enough. When they're completely empty like that, that's not a good sign. I mean, it's good for me when I put a bale in because there's no waste, but you want a little bit of hay left over so that you know that they didn't run out. Now that's a little bit better. We've got hay in both feeders. We could see we got hay here and we got hay in here. So based on what I'm seeing, I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fluff this out so that all the horses can continue to eat this up. And we're not gonna put any hay out here for the day. We'll let the horses eat all this down. And then tonight when we're feeding in the afternoon, we'll pop some hay out here, maybe one and one. That should do them for the rest of the week or we'll do two and one depending on how much they eat today. So while I'm working on putting the hay out in the field and cleaning up a little bit around those round bale feeders, Gavin's gonna take care of manure and he's gonna show you guys the process from the manure going into the muck buckets to the compost pile to what we do with it afterwards. So we got a lot of manure buckets today. So thankfully our amazing editor, Joel, is gonna put a little number in the corner showing how many buckets we dump. Each horse has their own bucket inside their own stall. Over the course of a week, all the manure that they produce gets put into that bucket and then taken out on manure day. We then take it out here to the giant manure pile, which then gets cleaned up by the veggie boys. The reason why the veggie boys pick it up is because it decomposes and turns into a rich black soil that's very good for their crops. No. So sometimes you fill it too much and a little bit of a spill happens, but that's okay. It's not that big a deal. Just finished our last load, five in total, not bad. One less than last week, so it's about average. And as you can see, Joel has already started turning out the horses in the big field, and they are hungry. Look at Jack go. Majestic. Now that we got all that taken care of, do you guys know what time it is? That's right, guys, it's donkey time. <laughs> I gotta tell you, recording these never gets old. They know it's donkey time, so they're ready to eat. All right, here's Buster's, and here's Rocky's. And as Gavin was wrapping up with manure, and I finished on working on cleaning up the pastures, I let out the big field, so they're, they went running. We are here with the donkeys, letting them into the left and right runs, so they'll enjoy those open spaces. And then we're gonna be letting out the middle field, which I think will be 
eager to get out, but probably not as eager as the big field. All right, and just like that, we have wrapped up with morning feeding. I'd say job well done, Gavin. All right, so we have wrapped up with... <sighs> <laughs> we have wrapped up with lunch. We're in the 110, which isn't really designed for two people, but Gavin's gonna be Hi. chilling with me as we make our trip on the way down to one of the farms. We've only got two cornfields to do and they're extremely far away. At least for us, they're extremely far away. So we're gonna begin the trip and uh, Gavin's gonna get some pretty sweet shots of everything going on and as we're wrapping up corn harvest this year. Sound like a plan? Oh yeah. So it's just a little tight in here, but you know, it's not that bad. Usually the drive's about 25 minutes by car. We're, we're rolling about 20 miles an hour, so we're thinking this will be about a 40 minute drive, maybe 45. So that's pretty spicy. Uh, in the meantime, the combine is fixed. There was a problem with it, and we had to get a new part in, and then it rained a lot. So a lot of problems kind of just mounted on top of each other. This is one of the latest years we've had corn harvest still running. Usually by deer season, we have corn done. But we have about, I don't know how many acres, but I know it's a lot <laughs> for us that's left to do yet, but it's just two fields. They're just rather big. So they're down there harvesting it right now. They're running the wagon and the truck for corn. And I'm going to basically clean the field up for the landowner so that everything looks nice once we're done. Afterwards, we have the horses to feed, of course. We've got to put those two round bales out in the afternoon. And then Gavin and I are making cookies. So we've got quite an eventful day ahead of us. <laughs> All right, Gavin, when that light turns green, we got to get through this intersection quickly. Okay, Joel. Go, 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 go. So we're pretty, we're, pretty, we're pretty late, but other than that, we made it. Woo! All right, so Gavin, here's what I'm gonna need you to do. You're gonna have to text Daniel to find out if uh, there's more than just this section on this farm. And then uh, if what I think happened happened, they went to the next field already and they're working on cutting that. So let's get started. Apparently we're not gonna get a ride home. So the tractor is gonna be our ride home. So we gotta make the long trek back home. The gearboxes on the rotary chopper got really hot. So I ended up stopping and that was what got all this in motion. So we're gonna run this back, check the oil levels on all of that. But firstly, we're gonna feed horses. So I'll probably be working on that in another day. Got the upper half of the field done, working on getting the lower half done. You ready to go feed horses? 
Yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that cinematography from Gavin. I think it looked fantastic. We finished feeding horses, and as you can tell, we're no longer in the stable. We're here making cookies. We're actually putting the last touch on some of our Italian ricotta cookies right now. So Gavin's doing a fantastic job icing up the Italian cookies. He's finishing up there. Here's some chocolate chip. We're gonna be making some more tomorrow. The reason why I didn't end up filming the afternoon feeding was because I knew that we needed to get started making cookies. And I wanted to get started making cookies because the sooner we get started, the sooner we get to go home. So it's gonna be on that cheery note that I hope you guys enjoyed the video and... Did you guys hit that like button yet? If you're doing it now while you're down there, subscribe. How else can you see awesome content like this? That's exactly right, Gavin. Thank you for watching, guys. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.